Hey guys, in this episode, we're talking about the hot and trending social media apps that are starting to take off. I have been watching them for a little while. This is an episode that you guys are gonna watch in full to see which ones you need to be on to get ahead of the trend and start making content. Let's go, let's start right now. Guys, my name is Jared Vandermeer and I make digital marketing and content creation tip videos right here on YouTube. And in this episode, I'm going through some social media apps that you probably have not heard of before. I'm gonna go through five. These have been ones I've been watching for a really long time. We're gonna go through and show you what's in the apps. We're gonna do some screen recordings. We're gonna have some fun. And you guys can then decide if you're gonna download these apps and start making content to try to build your audiences. All right, just gonna get the screen recording going here. So the first app I wanna talk about today is Caffeine. Caffeine is an app that was started in 2018, and I have noticed a lot of trending blogs and information coming out about this app. And the reason is, is it because it has so many good influencers on it. It's got people that you guys pay attention to. The tagline for Caffeine is live streaming reinvented and they got ESPN on it, they got Drake on it, they got a whole bunch of these Red Bull racing is on it and they do these live streams that are ultra fast and they're a little bit different feeling than you would get on other platforms. Just scrolling right now, right away, you got Red Bull TV that's live, picking your teams for a tournament, you got Masters of Luck, um, scrolling down, let's just take a look. I love going to this up next section and just taking a look at who's coming up and who's gonna be talking. It's scheduled in. Your influencers and the people you're gonna follow are gonna schedule times that they're gonna go live. And I think it's a great way. What, what's cool about caffeine and what's gonna be interesting is for brands that want to get more trust it is a fantastic way to start doing lives and build an audience where they are waiting for you to go live. So Caffeine is in this really unique niche where they're starting to capture attention and for the gaming community and for a lot of influencers and hip hop artists, this is the place where they're gaining a lot of attention. Pay attention to Caffeine. I think Caffeine is going to get a lot more attention in the next couple years. All right, next I want to talk about Vero, an Instagram alternative. Now, I love Vero. I haven't made a lot of content on Vero yet, but I have been scrolling to gain context. And by scrolling down, what I really like is how interactive it is. I love what it looks like. It just has this really clean feel. I find that sometimes now Facebook and Instagram are a little bit cluttered. There's a lot of going on in the feeds. And even though Instagram still has the beauty of it and it's still simple, Vero, just the way the backgrounds are, the way they match the images, it's super clean. And I like scrolling. I, I find that I scroll longer on Vero than I do on Instagram. Now, from a social media perspective, when you're looking at platforms, you have to look at how much it captures your attention and what your watch time does on that platform compared to others. Does it take market share away from other platforms? When I started scrolling TikTok, for example, I was super addicted and I know you guys are too and that's why TikTok went off and went crazy. I think that for photos, Vero has the same effect. I scroll it longer than I scroll Instagram, which is a really good indicator that it's one that you should get on if you love taking photos, if you love making great content and putting out value. If you're a new creator and Instagram's not getting you much reach, take a look at Vero. I think it's something that you should pay a lot of attention to. The next social media app I'm gonna talk about is a TikTok alternative, and that is Byte. Just gonna open Byte here. Getting in, it has very much the same feature as if you were on the For You page of TikTok in your mix. It also has the following section. Again, very similar short form videos, very similar contents also made on it. Here I am right now on Zach King. Zach King's already on it. Really, really cool to see all of the different influencers starting to get on it really early. And again, that's another indication that it's going to be a platform that starts to take off. Now, one other thing I like when you're going through your mix and you're scrolling is it doesn't have the number of likes on the actual feed itself. 
which is really cool. I think that was something Instagram was kind of doing and, and it doesn't validate the content. That means that powerful and valuable content is going to stick out. Content that gets a lot of watch time is going to stick out. So if you have been struggling on TikTok or you're looking for an alternative, Byte might be the one for you. And as of now, even if you don't wanna make content for it, get on it, scroll, gain context. You might even get an idea on Byte to take to one of your other platforms. Next up, guys, is MeWe. MeWe is a Facebook alternative where you control your feed, you control the algorithm. Now, I did an entire video on MeWe. I'm gonna put it in the cards above. If you guys wanna know what I think fully of MeWe, that is a full episode on it. But just to touch on it here, one thing I like about MeWe is just scrolling through it so far, once you get your friends on it, it is not Facebook, it's much cleaner. You do get to control. They do allow you to kind of manage your privacy, which is what it's all about. And just looking at the privacy bill of rights quickly, because I do talk about it in the other episode, it's all about protecting your personal information, making sure you don't receive third party. They're not gonna manipulate, filter, or change your news feeds, and you guys basically control everything. So not going more into detail, I like MeWe. I think MeWe is an app that's going to have a really good chance of being first to market and gaining a lot of attention in the privacy space and in that specific niche. So get on MeWe, do a little bit of scrolling, add some people to it, check it out, and if you're into privacy, then this is definitely the platform for you. And last but not least, I want to talk about House Party. I'm just going to open it here. House Party was created in 2018. And last time I saw online, the statistics said that it had 20 million people on it. The reason for that is more people are now at home and obviously looking for ways to connect with friends and family. And House Party is instant. Once you're on, you can search for friends. You can create your own group. You can find people that you know and add people right, right from your contact list. And even though it's just a video chatting platform where you can add your friends and have discussions and lock groups, I think it is one of those apps where it has a specific niche and over time it will start to grow other features and become a true social media network. So House Party has my attention and for you guys, if you're looking to connect with different people or connect with your friends or even connect with coworkers for work, House Party might be the way to go. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys got some value out of it. And the one thing I'll say at the end of this episode is this. I talk about social media platforms, up and coming and trending ones a lot. And it's all about gaining context. It's all about getting on the platforms, scrolling through the feeds and understanding what content is organic and native to that platform. So that when you're ready to get on it and make your own content, you're gonna be ready to actually post that content that's going to work on that platform. So get on these, start scrolling them. It may also give you ideas for your other content platforms and for the big ones. Okay, that's it for this episode. If you got any value from it, you know what to do. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit those bells, and we'll make lots more content like this on my channel in the incoming weeks. That's all for now, guys. Talk to you later. Guys, in the end annotations here, I just wanna say one more thing. I think going through that episode, you guys saw my passion for Vero, and I, I just, I think that Vero and MeWe are the two that stand out to me the most as having a chance they've they've captured my attention um, I'm not paid by any of these apps to talk about these I just I've been scrolling I do a lot of searches through the App Store those ones caught my attention download them take a look at them it may help you down the road for your brands and your business it's all for now guys